Hey guys, Braden here with ATT. I don't have a lot of time, so if you want this full version of the Awesome Pottery Trap, you can just head to patreon.com slash Podcast. We need this support. The support helps the show tremendously. You've got two ways to support Patreon or Supercast, or you can just top up the beer coffers by scanning that code and sending us some beer money. Anyways, I hope you enjoy our Awesome Pottery Cap and think about supporting the show. Thanks, guys. Enjoy. Welcome to Alien Theorist Theorizing. Austin Pod Trip Recap. I'm Braden. I'm Zell. And I'm Andrew. Um, now, just before we uh, get going on our recap, um, just wanted to give a quick, read a quick quote. Uh, Hard work pays off. Dreams come true. Bad things don't last, but bad, bad guys, guys do. do. Uh, rest in peace, Ray's Ramon. Huge part of my childhood. Oh, no. Um, took three heart attacks to uh, take him out. Tough motherfucker. Um, yeah, he, you know, he struggled with addiction, turned his life around. Um, you know, our thoughts go out to uh, the entire Hall family, all yeah. friends, everybody. Fucking Kevin Nash. Did you read his post? Jesus. Yeah, it was heartbreaking. Fucking dude, killed me. Yeah, it was a tough one. So rest in peace, Scott Hall. Um, we salute you. Um, <laughs> now when you know just before we get started we'll make a quick mention yeah, yeah. D- dan was not in that intro dan has landed and is in thailand so if you're wondering that's he's, where he is he's in bangkok um, creating a few my next stories <laughs> i'm yes. sure i'm sure <laughs> now uh you know we've been in this uh covid19 quarantine lockdown for almost two years so the last pod trip for us was um what, L.A.? Alien Con, June 2019. I, 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 was, dude, I think my last one was like 2017. Yours was, well, we went back-to-back years. So yours 2018. 2018. Or did you, even so, make, did you make that one? No, no. I didn't come to oh. Vegas. I didn't go to L.A. Boy, oh. I only went on the first one. You went that, Okay, yeah, 2017 then. That's right. Because he having babies. Yeah. It, now, it's, you know, it's obviously when things were starting to loosen up, um, we were like the, one of our – first things on our bucket list was get a pod trip in. So, uh, as we were trying to decide, you know, where do we go? Like, you know, there was talks of tons of places, Disneyland. <laughs> Disneyland. Hey boys, I was all about it. <laughs> Harry Potter world, you know, oh, stuff yeah. like that. Uh, but we, we had some <laughs> oh, boys. My owl's been here for a while. I got my letter. I'm ready to go. <laughs> all right. Hufflepuff's waiting. Yes, he, he he was a he's a Hogwarts dropout. They finally let him back in. <laughs> Absolutely, so he's, not a he's dying dropout. to get back there. Uh, Puff Puff for life, son. He uh, so there was some criteria. We wanted you know to be able to make some content. We wanted to um, meet some fans. We wanted to be hotter than Canada. So which pretty nope. much wiped up the east. Wiped up. I wouldn't have went coast. anywhere. No, I would not have went anywhere that was colder. Than we Canada. said no ice and snow. Like like that's no. number one. Hundred percent. Oddly enough, the winner. The, the place that was chosen actually had a fucking like winter freak, storm. A freak few storm. Days before we went. Freak storm just a few days before we went. We're like, oh my God. I was getting ready to pop a fake COVID test. Being like, sorry, boys. Can't, can't, go. can't go. So we, you know, we looked at our analytics and stuff and we were, could see where the most downloads were from. And the most downloads were from, uh, you know, an area in Texas between Austin, San Antonio. Houston, um, Houston, the Dallas. ATT triangle, if you will. Yep. Austin landing uh, right in the middle of that triangle. So we figured, Hey, you know what? Like that's uh why the hell not? And first off, I gotta say, Texas was fucking phenomenal. Not what I expected at all. No, I, me I met three I, people with accents. I don't think I saw anybody with guns. Uh, everybody was insanely friendly. Well, like it, it was, it was the, it, it was, was amazing. It wasn't the stereotypical Texas that we've all been brainwashed believing over all the movies. And I'm ready to see fucking Yosemite Sam running around fucking shooting his guns off and shit. Well, I mean, uh, a, a serious lack of tumbleweeds. Yeah, I didn't see I, one fucking duel. Well, it's at the same time though, it's so weird for me going to anywhere that's zero mountains, like not even a little, a little bump, just like a fucking flat prairie. So weird. And, I feel really bad because, you know, we refer to Alberta 
as the Texas of Canada, which is such a fucking Canada insult anymore. to Texas. You can't anymore. Yeah. No, no, no. Nope. Alberta, you are now going back to being known as the butthole of Canada. Absolutely. <laughs> right? It's not yeah, that bad. Canada's the butthole of the world. But hey, it's got tar sands. It hey, needs a wipe. They got, they got Banff. They stole a piece of BC. Yeah, they got, yeah. you know what else they got, though? They got the fucking flames. So, fuck the ho- well, the hockey team's yeah. trash. But yes, we do call it the Texas North. I Not mean, anymore. That, that's why I mean, it's just no. for oil for the most part. Cause no longer North Texas. Cowboys, I guess, a little bit, but they can't hey, compare listen, the two. Can't listen. compare the two. Everyone from Alberta is all cap, no cattle, pal. <laughs> all right. Absolutely. We'll all get into cap, more of that no slide later. So, we, you know, we obviously chose Texas as our landing place. Yep, it's uh, yeah. most listened to region. Thought, why not? We didn't really know much about it going. We knew that there'd probably be some comedy, there'd be some music, there'd be some good bars. But there, we did, did. We didn't do a disappoint. Did not any disappoint of those, in any of those fucking factors at all. So we flew out Tuesday, March first. Found us a great deal on flights, leaving four twenty and five thirty, respectively, from Cologne and Vancouver. Uh, Cologne, obviously, me and Andrew, Braden. Is easy, really easy flight for him from anywhere, right? <laughs> no, no, not easy. Uh, well, it's not like you live on an island or anything. Yeah, right? for me, like for me to get this flight, it was it's an hour and a half drive, ferry ride, and then I got to navigate Vancouver traffic to get to like long term parking, then get to SkyTrain to the airport. <laughs> I, I I thought I had it all planned in my head because I had like a one o'clock COVID test, and so you obviously have to get a, a negative COVID test to uh, fly into the States. So I already, we had a backup plan. We had all talked about it, that if any of us pinged positive, we would drive to Seattle because (laughs) you can drive across the border with a positive. So like, dude, I white knuckled it from my house. There was bad traffic because I didn't catch the early ferry. Just made the ferry. The ferry lineup was insane. Uh, The ferry was 20 minutes delayed because of bad weather. Uh, I'm just like sweat, just stressing like at any time, like I'm going to miss the flight. You gave yourself a two hour buffer, but it almost wasn't enough. Yeah. And so it's like the, the, it, the ferry was slow because of the uh, waves and stuff, you know, pull into Vancouver airport, uh, into YVR long-term parking. I'm sprinting to the sky train with my luggage. <laughs> I'm like, I don't even, I'm like, Oh, I've left my jacket, my windbreaker. Fuck it too late. I'm not going to make this doctor's appointment to get this test literally make it there like with two minutes to spare to my test. And they're like, if you're late, it's canceled. You have to repay for a whole new test. That's fucked. So I'm like, Oh, thank God. Get there, get the test. Then I'm sitting there for half an hour stressing. Cause I'm like, fuck, am I going to, I'm going to ping positive. I'm going to have to go all the way back to my truck, drive to Seattle. It's crazy. The guy's already pinged negative. Like, fuck, this is, of course it's going to happen to me. Um, <laughs> you know, boom, get the negative. But I was like, str- I couldn't eat. I couldn't do anything. I was just stressing the whole time. Well, your, uh, your whole flight, your whole trip is based on one little little swab on the inside yeah. of your nose. Yeah, so it's, it was stressful. And uh, luckily, I pinged the negative too and uh, met up with you boys in Seattle. Yeah, not happy either. The look on your face, you're fucking stress sweating. <clears throat> you're fucking got a little, you could tell you had a little swass going the way you're waddling. You're waddling a little oh, bit more than oh, normal. Yeah. Like you were oh, happy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Happy. I was, uh, yeah, I was. <laughs> Like I was a spicy not. Caesar salad and a drink with the boys. Yeah, today. I hadn't, uh, I hadn't uh, eaten or anything, so it was like it was a long day of not eating. So this is like, what I think we were in Seattle. It's like it's like nine o'clock now or some shit or like. No, eight. it was like it was like six thirty or seven, but six, six thirty or seven. But it, it, it's the, it was the textbook Braden travel day. I would say put him on edge the whole day. Yeah. Oh yeah. Now <laughs> you were you were traveling with Andrew. Did he pull any pull any of his uh, fucking Andrew shit? We're going. What do you mean Andrew shit. We're going. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What the fuck do you mean Andrew shit? <laughs> Like being a great travel companion? Because that, that uh, to me it, sounds like yeah. If being a great travel companion. To keep up to date with all things alien theorist theorizing, follow us across social media on Twitter, Instagram, Patreon, and Facebook. For updates on new videos and content on YouTube, don't forget to click like and subscribe and hit that notifications button to keep those eyes on the skies with alien theorists theorizing.